Okay, I have a question. You guys have Oshis, right? It doesn't have to be me. But would you rather have them stay as like like at this level where you can kind of one-on-one -on -one chat them on stream? Or would you want them to be so successful that they can't even read chat? Like what would you guys prefer? I'm all, I've always been curious, like for a viewer's point of view. Cause streamers, well, they always want to grow and stuff like that. But I've never really heard viewers say anything about it. Kahit ano masaya ako. Ano ba tong mga tao? Kahit ano? Sa pagkain? Kahit ano? Sa opinions? Kahit ano? Ano pa ba? I want early Oshio grew, but it was hard to chat from then on. Oh. I wonder what it'll feel. Because I... I don't really have an Oshi, so... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's fun to be more interactive with your Oshi, but it's always better for them to have growth and more viewers. I guess things have... I think they just have their pros and cons. You know, if they're like this, where chat is very manageable, <laughs> you get the nice interaction. But if they're big, it just means your Oshi is successful. Doesn't matter if they're 10 view or 1k views per stream. My first real Oshi was the first English speaking VTuber late 2017. What? Never stopped watching, and when I saw her succeed, nothing tops. Aww. I know a streamer who quit and start new persona so she can maintain authentic convo between viewers and streamer. Wait, that's crazy. What? <laughs> Still depends on the streamer. That's like, oh my gosh! If I were a loyal viewer, I'd be so touched that they're doing something like that. She the thing I hate is though, does she have another persona? It's fun to talk to your favorite streamer slash VTuber, but in the, <laughs> but in the end of the day, sorry, I had to go. I'll eventually get big, so no, <laughs> and gets a bit harder to talk to them properly. But for me, it's better if they get successful, and I prefer for them to be in the big leagues. It would be the most greatest moment to see and watch that. Imagine the content and entertainment value you'll get. Oh, that's also one thing that I I kind of like think about when people audition for corporate uh, VTubing. I feel like some people get attached to their previous identities and stuff. I wonder if people think that, oh, I wish I became successful as this persona. Something like that. I feel like uh, the cover I did a more Calliope song, it kind of discusses that. So yeah, I don't know. I was like thinking about that because I feel like if I ever do, I doubt I will. <laughs> Unless I'm desperate. <laughs> Unless I feel like it's the right choice for me. Like, if I ever do debut as another identity and become, like, more successful, I feel like I'll be a little... Not a little, I'll be really sad. <laughs> that I couldn't, like, do it on my own or something like that. I wonder if there are, like... If there are Corpo VTubers that still stream as their previous persona. Do people do... It would be so interesting if so. Don't let that tie down. You really want to go... You have to be prepared to calculate every risk, yeah. Honestly, being an indie it just means that you'll be able to do a lot of creative things, I guess. Play more games without worrying about rules and stuff. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> um, I thought Mystery VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> It's a mystery. I'm a I'm a shadow. To go back to your question, I really love I really love interacting with my favorite streamers very much. It's really built into viewers to get that. Oh my god! Sure he knows me for you. Personally as a viewer of for smaller streams, you know you have hopes that one day she gets famous and you have to be prepared for that moment to be lost in sea of viewers. That's why I'm prepared for this. Watch small seed and big lose the original vibe, cope and move on, rinse and repeat. <laughs> okay na. Good, good, good night na ako. May pipa ako bukas. 
wish wish me luck guys i hope i don't throw up <laughs>